Hello, my YouTube friends. Today it's been a great day for me. I received this knife. I received. I bought uh, the Albatross. So I bought two bokers today for the production. And thanks. I don't know if I would say thanks, but uh, yeah, let's go with that one. Thanks to my friend Patrick, Aiden's daddy. Um, I've been relieved from some of my uh, dollars. Uh, and, uh, you know, my banker will hate me because I scored two great knives, two grails. And I'm not going to say more about that. And you'll see about that in, a, I would say, in a month or so when I come back uh, here and I make a video out of those two knives that I scored. So today, two mokers and two grails, absolute grails that I really wanted for some, uh, some time. So I guess I'd say thank you, Patrick. Thank you for all the knives. And again, my wife hates you, my banker, too. So let's talk now to those boker, to this boker, actually. This is the boker Oberman. Okay, so that, my friend, is a knife uh, that uh, fits the criteria that I, uh, that I wanted to apply. You know, when I first started to make uh, some videos on YouTube, I really wanted to talk about those knives that uh, were not advertised at all, no publicity whatsoever on the web. Uh, well, in a word, a uh, knife that doesn't interest anyone for whatever reason. So this knife, my friend, uh, <laughs> I really don't understand how it doesn't sell like crazy. It has everything, everything that one can expect uh, of a knife. It's a sturdy, a beefy knife. It's absolutely awesome. And we're gonna go around this knife for sure. Uh, and you're gonna see what I mean. I mean, this is knife is just crazy. Uh, it's done by Boker, like I said, Boker manufacturer in Germany. So the high-end uh, production of Boker, you know that they have the Magnum, which is the, 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 the crappy knives from China. Then the Boker Plus that becomes more and more uh, valuable knives. Uh, they are made in China, either in China or in Taiwan. And the Quaker, for example, is made in Taiwan. Absolutely great and perfect knife. Then again, you have the Boker manufacturer, which is made in uh, Slingen, Germany, which is a great city for knife making. Uh, and uh, usually it's more high-end knives that are done there in the in the manufacturer. Uh, usually they use their steel, the, the Bowler N690, which uh, basically it's uh, M690. Uh, so great knives. Okay. This is uh, a full micata uh, handle, you know. On the presentation, presentation side, you've got micata with a kind of groove here, which makes for a very nice, uh, you know, retention in hand. Other side, also micata, canvas micata, absolutely great, great looking canvas micata. Look, uh, canvas micata, look at that. The pivot is just awesome, awesome. So for those of you who want to maintain the knife, I guess that, yeah, they deliver a proprietary tool to, you know, to unscrew uh, the pivot. So no worries. Uh, you have the tools if you want to, uh, to maintain the, the knife. So very nice looking pivot. I just love it. Another feature that is something that I absolutely love uh, that is done very, very often by uh, Spyderco, and that is my favorite clip of all time, period. That's the wire clip. Wire clip, tip up, low, deep, very deep carry in the pocket. That's typically what I love. Typically what I love. I couldn't care much less uh, for uh, that line and hole, but it's here, whatever. But the clip is just awesome, and the retention is just perfect. Perfect, look at that. Look at how it carries in the pocket. It's just awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, other feature before opening the blade that I absolutely love is that backspacer, structural backspacer. Just awesome, awesome. And it's in a finish, kind of satin finish, you know, that contrasts very much with the bead blast that you can find on those liner. Should I say liner or frame lock? We're going to talk about this one. Uh, I, you know, both can apply. To me, it can be a frame lock. Uh, or a liner, whatever. This is two and a half millimeters. Uh, you know, some 
uh, the, the usually the frame locks start at 2.5 or 3 millimeters uh, thick. This is 2.5 millimeters, so that's yeah, that qualifies as a frame uh, lock in my opinion. Nice, very nice top pin there, very very nice. So now let's open the blade. Did you hear that? It is smooth as hell, and this blade, my friend, is just 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 stunning. Overall, it has the shape of a drop point. But here you have a kind of reinforced spear point, spear tip point there, which is very unusual to, 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 to say the, the, the least. Very unusual, you see. Here it's thick as hell. So you have a kind of spear point, but reinforced here. So that's very, very strong tip. Probably one of the, the strongest tip that I have. So for prying, for uh, that, 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 that is, uh, that is just awesome. Look at the thickness of, of, this, of that blade. Just awesome. Here you have nice jimping, very effective jimping. I didn't tell uh, you already, but this knife is made... Uh, no, don't even start to ask me what it means. Uh, it means something, but I don't care. Uh, this knife is made with this company, which is uh, the Oberland. It's a collaboration with Oberland... Uh, I wouldn't say knives. Uh, Oberland, okay? Oberland Arms. Actually, those, uh, they don't make knives, usually. Uh, they make very, very precision um, uh, rifles, okay? So they make like kind of uh, AR-15. Uh, they are very well known in Germany, uh, and that's a very nice uh, manufacturer for uh, for arms. So that's a collaboration with Oberon uh, Arms. And uh, uh, again, those are two awesome companies. So the collaboration uh, couldn't be uh, anything less than perfect. So here on the other side you have the Boker logo with the N690 as usual, number 501, like my jeans. Okay, they still exist actually. So dual thumb studs opening. Mechanism is smooth as butter. Look at that again, as I said. Doesn't that look like a, a frame lock? I mean, uh, I mean, you, you can use whatever words you want, but look at the thickness of the, the, the bad boy. Here, I, as I said, it's a 2.5 millimeters thick. So again, some knives are just, you know, full titanium knives that are, are that uh, thickness, period. Then you put those two scales of canvas micata, which are also 2.5 millimeters. So imagine the thickness of this blade. Very awesome. Very, I mean, just awesome. Here, the 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 the, the choice here are just awesome for uh, the the grip is very ergonomic. Look at the index here, third finger here, and then you have two fingers. Very nice grip. Very very nice. And again, it's a small jimping here, but the the the, the retention is just awesome. Uh, Needless to say that there, are, there is no wingering, no blade movement whatsoever. This knife is a tank. It is built for hard use, uh, and this is what it's made for. And uh, for those tasks, it will serve you for EDC, it will serve you for tactical, it will serve you <coughs> even for outdoor. Uh, this knife is a tank, a tank. Then again, the big liners that you have, or the frame lock, call it whatever you want to call it. The engagement is nice, and it is smooth as... just hear, hear that. You see that? I mean, it disengages like... look at that. It is just silky smooth. For a boker, it is quite unusual. This is a really, really smooth knife. Smooth action. Very, very, very uh, fun to play with. Look at the blade centering. It's spot on. Perfection, as I said, perfection. I mean, this knife is flawless. You can turn around, spend your evening on it. Uh, you won't find any flow of this knife. So, about this knife. Uh, so, again, what in hell, why in hell, this knife is not that well advertised is beyond me. Beyond me, because, uh, everything is to love about this knife. I mean, everything that we can love about a knife, you can find it on uh, this knife. So I definitely highly recommend you to check uh, for this knife because, 
I mean, I know you guys, uh, Rick, my friend, Todd Sticker, uh, Rob, the Apostle P, Patrick, Aiden's Daddy, Knife Guy, all my friends on YouTube, Shannon, Sheila, oh, you, you, I, I know that you are users and I definitely know that this knife, uh, I mean, will fit any one of you for sure, because uh, that will, uh, you will find, uh, you, you will find it useful for whatever task you, you can think uh, of. So please hear me out <laughs> and try to check for this knife. Uh, that would be one of the few recommendations that I make you very, you know, with the Bluetooth and some knives like that, that I highly recommend. And uh, this one, I highly, highly, highly recommend it to you. Guys, uh, I'm leaving you at that. Uh, I will be in the States uh, in a couple of weeks and then I will bring back from there uh, some knives uh, and I make uh, a lot of uh, video, I think, because I have a kind of, I don't know, some knives. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, there are more to come, uh, but in a couple of weeks. I don't know about if I'm going to make uh, other video until then. If not, uh, be safe and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.